How's it going everybody? You got Bison here, back with another FIFA fight is between the two new Barcelona goalkeeper acquisitions, Claudio Bravo and Marc-Andre Ter Stegen. Who is the better goalie for Barcelona? We will find out in this FIFA fight, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and also don't forget to follow me on Twitter at BisonYT is the Twitter handle for giveaways, updates with my channel, and much more. So here we go, this FIFA fight is underway and Claudio Bravo is up first. I really felt that Bravo was very underrated based on how he played in game. Look at this first save he makes, one of the best saves I've seen in all of FIFA 14. The crazy reflexes and ability to stick out his leg that far and stomp the shot from Gareth Bale. Really incredible reactions on this guy, that was the number one part of this card. He has solid diving as well, he can not only extend his body out pretty far, but his reflexes are very underrated, underrated. they felt amazing in game. His reactions were definitely the best part about this card. He does a good job on one on one chances with his reactions and getting um, his body down very very quickly and reacting fast. And also close shots and shots outside of the box. Diving in the reflexes were the best parts about this card. But now we're going to move on to his positioning which is a 78 rated on the card. Look, his positioning is definitely not a strength with this card, but it wasn't necessarily a huge weakness. His positioning wasn't that bad. When you leave him in net, most of the time he had a good position in net. I think his positioning was a little bit underrated based on how we played in game. It wasn't necessarily a big strength for him, but it didn't really feel like 78. It felt like about an 81, 82 in game. You see here, he readjusts his positioning pretty well off of the cross, does a good job getting in the right position and I felt like his positioning just staying in net was pretty good. And the angles he took to the ball were usually pretty good at times, you could see sometimes leaving too much space to one side, but it wasn't that big of a weakness for me. The biggest weakness I felt with this card is his handling. He didn't really catch any balls for me, his handling is in the low 70s. And you can see sometimes when he saves the ball, it's second chance opportunity after second chance opportunity. His positioning wasn't that bad for me, just the only big weakness I felt with this card is his handling and second chance opportunities, but the diving positioning and reflexes are very, very solid. So that's it with Claudio Bravo, a good goalkeeper in net and for the price, I would recommend him for this Barcelona card. But up next, you're going to see Mark andre Ter Stegen, and Ter Stegen is the complete opposite of this card. He's much bigger than Bravo, less athletic in net, and is, more, is really similar to Courtois in his build. 80 diving, 83 reflexes. I've heard from a lot of people that he's a lot better in game relative to his stats, but I really felt with this card, it wasn't as good as Bravo. He had better positioning, and I felt like his positioning in net was generally better. He takes up a lot of space in net. He's a relatively big goalkeeper, pretty tall. Uh, comparisons include Bekovic, Asmer Bekovic, and Thibaut Courtois. But unlike Courtois and Bekovic, this guy's reflexes were very, very slow. He felt pretty laggy in net at times, and you will see throughout this video that his reactions would be a tad late. Coming out on one-on-one -on -one chances, he does a good job of getting his body down very quickly and taking up a lot of space, but as far as other shots from inside the box, he would react a little bit late. His diving wasn't as bad as an 80, he does a good job of extending his body, but it really doesn't feel like he can soar across net like Claudio Bravo can. And you see here he comes out of net and reacts a little bit late on the one-on-one -on -one chance as I slow it down and look at it again. You see how he gets down a little bit too late and doesn't cover that angle as quickly as possible. And there'll be some times where he would just be too late. The main difference between these two goalies is that even though Ter Stegen might have better positioning, a little bit better handling, Bravo is much more athletic in net, more consistent and has the ability to make better saves. See this kid had Ter Stegen in net and look how late he reacts and it actually hits off of his hands and goes into the net after that shot with international man of the match closer. Yes, I did manage to get my hands on on that guy I'm doing a review of him next so stay tuned for that anyways I think you guys can tell by now Bravo really won this FIFA fight for me although there would be times where Ter Stegen would have good saves like this one a little bit late on the reflexes but still a good quality save with his diving Bravo's ability to do that was much more consistent and I really feel like Bravo wins over Ter Stegen how does Bravo compare now to Courtois Casillas I feel like Courtois is still a little bit more consistent than Claudio Bravo, although Bravo has the opportunity to make better saves because he's more athletic in net, 
They're both very, very solid goalkeepers. I would just give the nod to Courtois because I have more experience and more success overall with Courtois. Claudio Bravo wins this FIFA fight over Ter Stegen. He is the better goalie on Barcelona in this game. Will it be like that in real life? You guys will find out. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this FIFA fight. I really appreciate it. More videos coming out soon. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And International Man of the Match, Miroslav Klosa, is closer to coming out. See you guys next time.